Hi folks, Tyler Wilkins here with Center Point Yacht Services in Milwaukee. I'm here today looking at a new listing. It's a 2007 Rinker 340. It's gonna, I'm just here going through the boat and thought I would take you with me. You can explore the boat and learn about it with me. Got a large storage compartment here on the transom. Looks like some really nice teak decking on this one platform, as well as some newer seagrass style carpet in the cockpit, which just make the boat look very clean and very modern. Um, as we move inside, to an ice maker and a fridge in the cockpit. Um, the typical rinker blender, um, trash compartment and some storage. Fusion stereos throughout the boat. There's a remote panel here at the entryway as long as one as well as one at the dash transom shower and then your battery switches are down below upholstery very clean I don't see any rips stains tears stitching coming apart nothing obvious overall very clean throughout side seat helm seat everything it's in very condition very good condition Canvas could use some cleaning, but overall serviceable. Does its job, keeps the elements out. Screen on that back panel. Here at the helm you find something kind of surprising. Look at all this new Raymarine electronics. This is all touchscreen, modern, great electronics, and no shortage of displays. Um, radar appears to be working. Chart. Um, this It's all tied into the engines, too, which a lot of people don't bother doing. Um, but I fired up the engines, the tacks, and the, the gauges all work on here as long as, as well as getting the hours, engine hours off of there. Windless equipped boat, spotlight. There's the other Fusion remote panel that I mentioned earlier. It's an IO boat, 350 mag MPIs. Looks like an autopilot controller there, as well as a Raymarine VHF there. Um, bow has a sun pad, as, as well as a walk-through windshield. Glove compartment. Walking down below, very similar, very clean, very spacious. These rinkers really give you a lot of boat for the money. There is a Kohler generator on board in the engine room. I did take a picture I will put in the ad. I believe it was like 74 hours on the on the generator. Um, engine hours read like 449 and 452, so around 450 hours, which is pretty typical on what we see around here in this market for this age of boat. Air conditioning ductwork. Um, the panel is over here. There's the head unit for the Fusion, as well as one of the two TVs. There's also a second TV down in the aft berth. Convertible dinette. The table goes down. I believe the filler cushion is back there. Again, in here, upholstery is all clean, nice, no. Major rips, tears, nothing. Carpet runners, which are always nice. And a very large, very spacious aft bed here. This would be very comfortable, as well as a TV down here to sleep in. You got some decent height room in here. I'm actually sitting down, and my head's not nearly touching the top, so this is actually relatively comfortable separate shower which is great to see on a boat of this size completely separate not having a wet head is always preferred and sometimes when you get this small boat with a separate shower it gets tight in there but this is very roomy and
quite impressive. So, overall, very nice boat. I'm very impressed. I've sold a number of these rinkers, and people tend to be very happy with them. So, let me know if you got any questions. Please like, subscribe. Feel free to comment on the video. I will respond to all questions. Um, so, yeah. Thanks for watching.